The experimental ship semi-submerged platform Caimolino launched on March 7, 1973 at the Coast Guard Yard in Curtis Bay, Maryland, marked a significant milestone in naval architecture. Designed under the small water plane area twin hull concept, the Caimolino was built to address the stability and water resistance issues of traditional catamarans. Its unique design featured a main body above water and two torpedo-shaped underwater hull pontoons connected by vertical supports. The Caimolino had a total length of 26.76 meters, a width of 14.2 meters, and a normal draft of 4.65 meters. Initially, its displacement was 196 tons, later increased to 228 tons after a 1980 upgrade. The submerged pontoons, each with a diameter of 1.98 meters, provided the necessary buoyancy. The vessel's unusual architecture allowed for a spacious internal layout, including a bridge, crew quarters, and a hall for special equipment. Powered by a combined diesel or gas propulsion system, the Caimolino featured two General Motors 8V 71T diesel engines and two General Electric T64 6B gas turbine engines. This system allowed the ship to reach speeds up to 22 knots during initial tests with a cruising range of 500 nautical miles using diesel engines and 450 miles using gas turbines. The Caimolino underwent extensive testing and modifications from 1975 to 1994. In 1980, it was upgraded with additional fiberglass modules to improve buoyancy. Tests included helicopter operations, with SH-2 Sea Sprite helicopters successfully landing and taking off at ship speeds up to 25 knots. In 1982, the Caimolino was equipped with Mark 32 torpedo tubes to explore its potential as an anti-submarine vessel. After two decades of service, the Caimolino was transferred to San Diego in 1994 and later returned to operation in 1997 for the Sea Slice project. The vessel's design and test results influenced the development of other experimental ships, such as the Sea Shadow Stealth Ship. As of the mid-2000s, the semi-submerged platform Caimolino remained in active use for research purposes. Its unique design and extensive testing have provided valuable data for future naval projects, making it a cornerstone in the development of small water plane area twin hull technology. The Caimolino's success underscores its significance in advancing naval architecture and technology.